Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to some more Dancy Daddy. So today we have a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, at this spot. So lately we've been finding a lot of illegal dumping here. So we've kind of been having to skip it a few times, but yeah. In this video, everything was good. So Mr. Volt did get a good amount. And sometimes it's just, it's hard to tell how much is in there until you just get in and just start digging around. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need that little fan working for this kind of heat that we've been getting. yarn in there, uh, lots and lots of calendars. And I mean, we are in June right now, but there's still <laughs> another half a year left on them. So they can still be used. Got some, uh, what is that, My Little Pony? There was quite a bit in there too, so yeah, I'm sure some people can still use them. Some planners. A lot of these things too, we can, you know, we do the mystery boxes, so I will kind of go over that a little bit more in the video, but um, if you're new to the channel, we do fill, you know, flat rate boxes with basically whatever we can fit in there. So some of this stuff might be good too. You know, let us know, you know, if you guys see anything, any suggestions for what we can put in. Or even like where we can donate this stuff to, because yeah, we love to get suggestions from you guys. There's so many. Yeah, it's almost as well I'm just pulling these bags like completely full. Those are some nice ones. So, and we will be donating most of this as well. If anybody wants them, I mean, let us know too. You know, if you're in the US, you know, we can send stuff out. So, there was also a, another uh, business nearby, and the owner, he came out and he asked Mr. Volt if he's like, um, I guess, like dumpster diving, right? Like, so he was more concerned about illegal dumping, so we uh, let him know what we're doing and he was fine with it. He said, oh, okay, that's cool, have a nice day. And lately we've been finding that like more and more, you know, people that, you know, own these businesses, they just, they don't want illegal dumping, so and for the most part, you know, we've been having good luck with that, where you know, they're fine with us dump surviving. So, yeah, that's why, like, if you guys dumpster dive, um, I mean, not every place is the same either. But you can check it out too. Maybe some places will even save stuff for you. Um, that happens sometimes with us, but it just depends on, on your location, like, what store it is and what business it is. And again, thank you, Valerie Knight, for this bag. Mr. Wright loves it. I'm sure you guys have seen this purple bag many, many times. 
And we also had received a couple of donations through our PayPal. So Mr. Volt will be using that for his new gloves. He uses a couple different pairs, but you know, they get kind of worn, so yep, that will be part of the donations for that, so thank you very much. Oh, but be very, very careful, as you can see. There was a blade in there, so yeah, just don't go digging and swimming and jumping in like too crazy because you never know what's in there so just be very careful so that's kind of like what I mean Mr. Will he likes he's tried the fingerless type of gloves um, but his per personal <laughs> preference are like these regular kind of gloves right here so they have a little bit of protection for him but you know he also said to mention as well that you know it's not you know, fully 100%, so you have to be careful when you're, you know, digging in there. There's so much cute stuff in there, too. I mean, it's been a while since we found a lot of stuff like this here. So that's nice. I mean, you know, we were able to beat the trash trucks today. <laughs> and still be able to get a good amount. I think you've seen our previous videos, so sometimes we barely get out in time. Mr. Holt was going into a dumpster and the trash trucks were already showing up so he was able to save a little bit before he had to go. But yeah, just always be careful about that too. So yeah, it's not as easy as it looks to be, you know, dumpster diving out there, but I think if you're able to bring something with you, that's a good idea. <laughs> and be careful when you're jumping out too. And again, we want to say a big, big thank you to our PayPal supporters as well. Like I mentioned, we occasionally get donations through our PayPal, so that does help the channel. And we really, really do appreciate that. <laughs> and that's how you close the dumpster. And on to the next one. Sophie loves to collect rocks, so she's going to get that one. I believe it says be amazing today. It's really cute too, like how people paint the rocks like that. There's so many different designs and pictures that you can do, like if you like that type of stuff. That candle is broken, but we can still melt it down and you know, reuse it. It smells really good. know if um, your local scrapyard, if they take those hangers. Mr. Bolt was going to check and see because there is some metal in there, but I'm not sure you know, if the scrapyard, did they take that? 
Um, but when we get a good amount of hangers, because we find them all the time, uh, we do donate them as well. So the local thrift store that we donate to, they do um, use some of these hangers too. And then they also resell some of those plastic ones. But we're not able to take all of them. So we're just kind of seeing like maybe if it's something that the scrapyard will take, then we can just you know, load them up and, and scrap them like that. So we'll see. And uh, you guys just got to check this out. I'm not even going to talk for this one. Just, just, oh my goodness, watch this.
my goodness, there were so many paintings in there. I mean, that was just illegal dumping right there for sure. But I mean, we were just so happy that we were able to find all of those paintings. Um, yeah, I had to park a little bit further ahead from the dumpsters. So Mr. Volt was just like running back and forth, just bringing all the stuff because there were so many. But I think we are going to be putting those into the mystery boxes. So um, there's a limited amount because uh, we will be donating some and then some of them will be going on our eBay store as well. Um, but the rest will be going into the mystery boxes. So if you do see any that you like, um, I mean, we already, you know, check the size and see which ones fit in. But yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do is include those in some of the mystery boxes so yeah, whoever wants that can order their mystery boxes and get a painting and then with a bunch of other stuff <laughs> so Mr. Volt is arranging his fruits and veggies right there <laughs> so he had a duck and cover right there because that place, the, the doors are right next to the dumpster so there's constantly employees throwing out stuff. So he's, you know, trying not to lose that spot right there but yeah, a couple times he's had to hide when they come out. There's been other times too where they've come out and then they're fine with it. So I guess it just depends, but I mean... <laughs> you forgot that it was cut right there. But that's, um, that's another tip right there too, those bags. If one fruit is going bad, they will throw out the whole bag. So if you're trying to be quick and you know, grab stuff, if there's bags of stuff, just grab it and then you can separate it later instead of having to you know pick out like individual oranges you can just grab a bag and go <laughs> and Mr. Walt took the mushrooms this time so he made sure to take them for anyone not aware of that um back when we used to do a uh, Amazon Fresh there was a, a time where there were so many mushrooms and Mr. Volt wasn't able to get him, but it was just because there was so much stuff thrown out. So we have to kind of like pick and choose sometimes. Well, I guess it kind of like, it was like that with Amazon Fresh because there was so much stuff thrown out that we were able to pick and choose. If you haven't seen any of those videos, check them out. Because those dumpsters, those are crazy. And again, a big, big, big thank you to everyone who's bought a mystery box. Uh, so what we do, like I said, we fill a medium flat rate box uh, with as many stuff as we can fit in there. And um, yeah, there's two different options. So there's one where it's just all the items. And then there's another one where we include a memory foam pillow, brand new. <laughs> so yeah, the information is in the description, but um, that will include the current prices and then uh, yeah that's for us only unfortunately um but yeah just let us know if you're interested in that you know we can set it up or send it out to you so we are constantly getting more orders for that so 
as long as you you know you send it through the PayPal, you know, we'll get it and we'll get that out to you. So that's a cornhole game. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Look at all these bags. So this again reminds us of the Amazon Fresh Dumpsters. It was so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like stuck on that now. Like, you need to watch those videos. That's all I gotta say. No more about that. Just watch the videos and see. <laughs> and so this one right here, this one was at Marshalls, and we have never found anything. Like, really, they never throw out anything. They have compactors and. There's some stores that have compactors and we can still find a good amount of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the one time where we actually found a lot of stuff. So they brought in these big, huge dumpsters. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> I like the, the speed on that. I'm sorry, this is like the first time I'm watching this stuff. So. Yeah, I'm right with you guys. Yeah, they never throw out stuff like this and today we were just driving by we saw it so Mr. Volt was in there for a good amount of time so I knew there was some good stuff in there I mean, right when we were pulling up too there was another car that had showed up so they had pulled up ahead, like, in front of us, where we were at, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if they were dumpster diving too, or what was going on, but... We were kind of seeing, like, if, you know, maybe they wanted some of the stuff, you know, we can offer them some stuff, but... They never came out, so... I guess not. But there was a guy on a scooter? And he had like a full-size mirror. It was a really nice mirror. So yeah, he went to the dumpster and I guess he had found it before and just put it aside and saved it because he just walked out with it. It was really nice. So that's good that you know other people are able to save stuff too. Those spatulas are really cute. And Mr. Volt will be fixing that right there. So, we can use that for like a planter or something. I mean, obviously it's not going to be really good for baking or anything like that, but yeah, I'm sure we can use it for like a planter or something. It's really cute. I mean, Mr. Volt is pretty quick when he dumpster dives, but I'm sure he, he would like that fast mode, extra, extra speed. Because there was so much in here. It did take a little while. That one is really cute, but it is cracked. So Mr. Volt found this lid right here and he always just puts it aside and keeps it because you never know if you're going to find the pot for it or you know, can have some use for it. But luckily, he found the pot. So that was a jackpot right there because it's really cute. $30? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> 
still remember like right before we started dumpster diving like maybe like uh, i want to say like a week before i still bought like a brand new set of pots and pans <laughs> yeah i think that was the last time we had to buy some because i mean we're constantly finding more that is so cute I haven't even seen like all of this stuff yet. Like, we were so busy after that I haven't even got to go through any of this stuff. <laughs> but it looks really good so a lot of this would be good. Um, like I said we do donate to a local thrift store so they help out with homeless and it's a nonprofit. So a lot of the stuff that we donate goes there. And I'm sure some of this stuff might go in mystery boxes as well. That would be a mystery though, so I guess you'll have to find out. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but yeah, those bags are really, really good. So as you can see, we just, you know, have so much stuff in there and Mr. Bolt is able to put that in his pocket and just take it out when he needs it. So definitely recommend those. Those are really pretty too. Ah, oh, so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to come off, but that's okay. You can fix it. coffee was uh the bag was ripped or cut or whatever it was um but we are still gonna be using it for like um put it like in little bowls throughout the house and it kind of like brings out the smell of coffee so yeah that's a little tip right there <laughs> if you want your house to smell like starbucks just put some around the house and works really good Bolt does seal that up, make sure it doesn't all spill in his bag. So there's even some clothes in here. Uh, we don't need most of the clothes that we find too. So we do have a few different places for that as well. And if you guys ever have any tips and you know, ideas as well, you can leave them in the comments. And where we can donate to. And we give a big, big shout out to all of our subscribers. Make sure to leave a comment and we do pick three subscribers at random to be featured on our next video. So thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> There's so many bags in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Volt's getting buried in that dumpster with all those bags. Oh 
<laughs> I can't see his feet. There we are. <laughs> That's good though. I mean, at least, you know, we were able to find that much stuff and, you know, hopefully other people as well can find monster diving treasures. Make sure to let us know in the comments too if you guys done today. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And have a great day. Bye.